I mean, forget research, forget experiences. For me, it's just um, the in the indecisiveness. Yeah. I mean, if you're done with your old love, leave that situation and move to your new exactly. love, mm. and not bouncing between homes. Yeah. So are you are you saying if you're done with the love in the marriage, yeah. you divorce? Would you rather he divorces you? Personally, I'd rather he, yeah he divorced me, he left me. Okay. Because okay. bouncing between two homes will not work for me. But then again, speaking of two homes, yeah. I like that you spoke about culture as yes. well. Mm -hmm. and traditional polygamy, norms as well. Traditional yeah. norms as yeah. well. But I have a Muslim friend. Mm -hmm. And my friend says as long as the man can basically look after the two families. Then everything's got a wife here, a wife here. He can look after the two families, attend whatever important events yeah. between the families. Mm -hmm. And he good. Yeah. So does that also involve the emotions of the two wives? Because like, okay, just just be honest with yourself, Mitch. Uh -huh. Would you be a second wife? Would you allow for him to have a second wife? I would be the second wife if I'm the last one. <laughs> but how do you guarantee Drum that you roll, are the last please. one? Please, it's, it's not it's not no. up to you. If if we can have an understanding, if he yeah. says I just want two wives maybe but then it would have to be like a very special case like i wouldn't just be like but i would like okay like everyone would when, like when, to be when you say wife. you're fine with being the last wife what does this come with like does it come with a house a lamborghini does it <laughs> a, a yacht <laughs> like i need to understand where and, you're and you basing know, this like maybe let me just throw this in baby uh -huh. biblically yeah Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's right. I know it, we have a lot of stories. We have got the Solomon. Solomon. We have a lot. Solomon too. needed yeah. therapy. That's what he needed. <laughs> oh, really? That's what he needed. Let's needed. Okay. take it to church, ladies. Let's okay. take it to church. All right. Now, before I give my opinion on uh, you know our topic for tonight, which is polygamy, Mitch went out and about in the streets of mm. Lusaka. Hey. I think as for me, one wife, one husband. Moreover, that's the Bible. Uh, concept it's not that it's coming from me it's coming from my parents it's coming from the bible and because it's like abraham had how many women in his life it's it's just been like that i mean it's it's normal but though for us women it's been hard because we want our men to be faithful and to be, you know, just our men. But technically, it's not. It is. If he wants to be a man of two wives, I mean, he can if he has to. And if he's able to take care of his women. But then on the women's side, I don't think it's possible. I think I would be, provided the man can take care of me and his other family. And also, I think... It would be better if me and his first wife get along. So if we're cool, then I, I wouldn't have a problem with being a second wife. But you know, it is what it is. It's modern times. If she's cool with it, if they're both cool with it, then why not? <laughs> Just get it. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs>